Hi guys, how are you? No sé si me pueden ver y escuchar bien. Estoy Hi viendo... teacher. Hi Reina, it's good to see you again. How are you? I am fine. You're fine, okay, that's great. Uh, you are like a little bit cold. Yes. <laughs> I am too. Yeah, I'm like using my sweater. <laughs> Teacher, que todo el día no ha parado de llover. Yes, it was raining all the day. I know. Um, uh, I I I was trying to do my homework today, and um, sometimes the internet wasn't good, so I'm a little bit stressful of that because I needed the internet to do my homework and it was so cold and I, I didn't think about it when I when I took a, a, a bath cuando me bañé no pensé en que iba a hacer un frío horrible después y creen creen que se me ha quitado el frío de mis piecitos desde que me bañé en la tarde horrible yes it's so so cold right now I understand but I prefer when it's so cold than it's when it's so warm <laughs> um like pretty hot no le escucho reina creo que tiene el micrófono apagado sorry yo también prefiero el frío que el calor verdad <laughs> para no sentir que se está derritiendo like uh, like I am an ice cream and I am melting when everything is so hot <laughs> Yeah, I understand. I prefer the cold too. A mí, yo también prefiero el frío. Me podría estar congelando, pero no voy a decir que el calor es mejor. <laughs> so I understand. I hope that you are good in home. Um, it has it been raining all the day. So I hope that you are good in home right now. Que todos estén en casita, veo que hay personas manejando. So be careful because it's raining. Be careful. No vayan a tener algún accidente por estar conectados a la clase o queriendo oírla cuando está manejando. So be careful, okay? Sean cuidadosos con, con, con ustedes mismos. I understand that you, you, that you I want to be here with me and I'm so glad to be with you, but be careful with yourself, okay? Sean cuidadosos, no les vaya a pasar un accidente por estar conectados a clase o algo parecido. So remember that your um your well being, it's uh it's first. It's como su bienestar es primero. And um, how are you guys? ¿Cómo están todos? Todos muriendo de frío. 
Así le veo por ahí en las camaritas que todos tienen suéteres. En la casa de Stephanie está ahí. Ay, hay una bota de Navidad colgada. <risa> You're ready for Christmas. <risa> yes, teacher. <risa> ya estamos navideñas nosotros aquí. <risa> oh, my God. <risa> This is the last day of October and you are ready for the Christmas. <risa> It's amazing. I really love Christmas. Oh, I understand. I really love Christmas. It's one of my favorite holidays in the year. I think it's so, so warm. I don't know. Uh, like to stay with your family, to um, give presents to the people you love. Um, and all of these things I think is so amazing. I really love Christmas. It's It's pretty good. I really love it. Oh, and of course the food. I think my favorite thing of Christmas is the food. I really love panes con pollo. <laughs> and I can eat it for three or five days when when um when Christmas is over, but you still uh but you still have food in your in your refrigerator. <laughs> ¿Verdad? Cuando ya se acabó la Navidad, pero todavía hemos donde comida en el refrigerador. So I, I I really like it. I like el recalentadito. Ajá, el recalentado. <laughs> cierto. Lo comemos como seis días después de la Navidad. <laughs> Me da risa que los salvadoreños hacemos un gran banquete para Navidad, pero en realidad es para no cocinar los otros seis días. <laughs> es parte de nuestra cultura, Yavi. Uh, es parte de nuestra identidad, Yavi. And um, that's great. But I'm trying to enjoy the last day of, of October. So today is Halloween. Happy Halloween to you. Uh, I'm, I'm, I really like Halloween because I can use, um, a, I, I can use um, my imagination to dress or to do um, something with my makeup and look like any character that I want. And I didn't, I didn't do it this and this, this October. The last year I was um, Gara from Naruto. That was the last year. No, it was the, now it's 2023. I think it was in 2020. Yeah, I was Gara. But I didn't, I didn't do it this, this October and I didn't have time. <laughs> I have a lot of things to do. So I didn't have time to use um, my imagination to do that. But maybe the, the next year. So um, this is Halloween and um, tomorrow is going to be the beginning of the Christmas. Ya mañana vamos a decir que es el inicio de la Navidad. Desde noviembre, digo yo, ya se sienten los, los, los vientos navideños. Las energías navideñas. So, um, I'm so glad to see you here. Qué bueno que están conectados. Quiero ver, tengo siete participantes ahorita. Ok, hay una buena cantidad. Ah, como pensé que íbamos a estar, porque la mayoría me ha comentado que tiene programas de internet, por lo de la depresión tropical y así. Pensé que íbamos a ver menos. Um, y de hecho cuando comenzó la clase veíamos solo como dos personas so I, I, I thought that um, this is not gonna this is not when it gonna be like a dynamic class but it is gonna be because you are here so um, I'm so glad to see you here espero que todos estén en casita y que puedan disfrutar de la clase como tiene que ser so we're going to see We're going to start with other topic, and of course, is um, it's linked with the last topic. If you remember, yesterday we talked about where are you from. Who wants to tell me what we saw today? Que me quiere recordar que vimos ayer, que hicimos en clase. Los continentes, the continents, Ajá. Europa, Asia, Africa, and Oceania. Excellent. In Oceania, exactly. In America, don't forget America. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Don't forget America. We're living in America. <laughs> okay, yes, we saw the continents. What else? What else we did? ¿Qué más hicimos? Los que estuvieron en clase ayer, no dormidos, sino que participando. Cuéntenme, ¿qué más hicimos aparte de ver los continentes? Destroy my city. Sorry, perdón, perdón, Carlos, ¿no lo escucha? Destroy my city. Ok, permítanme, permítanme un momento, permítanme. Me parece que mi internet está inestable. Pero, ¿me escuchan y me ven bien? Yo sí, yo. Me acaba de salir que no tenía internet, se me fue todo, todo el alma. Pero les veo, yo les veo bien a ustedes y les veo bien y ustedes me ven bien a mí. No se me fue el alma por un momento. Ok. So, um, yeah, we were talking about what we saw yesterday. And if you remember, the topic was, where are you from? De donde eres? And we practiced some ways to talk about the, way, uh, the, the, the place we are from. And we did some questions and answers time. And you uh, you were doing this, uh, these questions about where do you live? Um, where did you grow up, for example? That was uh, one of the ways that you used to talk about the, the place you are from. And um, like, I can say, for example, where you belong from, que es como a donde perteneces. You understand that it's not the same thing when I say I am from El Salvador that I can say I uh, I belong to El Salvador. Like pertenecer, belong, it's one of my favorite um, verbs in, in English and in Spanish too. It's just like pertenecer, sí, ese sentimiento de pertenencia. So, for example, I belong to Cabañas y Lo Vasco and I, I really love my little town in Cabañas department, but I, I, I never lived in Cabañas. I grew up in San Salvador, so I am from San Salvador, but I think I belong to Ilo Vasco because I really like that town and my, my grandpas, grandmas, and my daddy and my mom, uh, they are from Ilo Vasco Cabañas. So I belong, um, I belong to this little town. And nothing is not, it's not like the same thing when I say I am from what I belong from. And so I really love this, this, this verb belong to, pertenecer a algo. So we were talking about this yesterday and today we're going to link in with the topic that is positive adjectives and why do we use it. So, les voy a mostrar mi pantalla en este momento. I'm going to show you my screen and tell me when you can see it. Y me avisan cuando la puedan ver, ¿ok? Looking up my tears, ricochet. Lo que ya está cargando, me avisan cuando la vean. Ready, teacher. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. I was talking about this positive adjectives. Why do we use it? First of all, tell me what do you think that is a positive adjective? ¿Qué creen que es un positive adjective? What is it? ¿Qué es? Para saber para qué lo usamos, primero tenemos que saber qué es. So, what is it? What is a positive adjective? Adjetivos de posesión, cuando nos pertenece a algo. Ok, I like it. Um, ¿Cómo les dije que se decía pertenecer en inglés? Belong. Belong, ok. Something that belongs, ok. I really like it, Reina. Excellent. Positive adjective. Something that I belong to or something belongs to. Ok, algo que pertenece. 
So what is an adjective? ¿Qué es un adjetivo? I know, yo sé que cuando empezamos a ver esta parte del inglés, a veces es como un poco tedioso cuando llegamos a la parte de la gramática y a veces es como, um, puede, puede volverse como un poquito, bueno, al menos yo solía pensar que era innecesario, pero no es innecesario, es muy necesario aprender la gramática en cualquier idioma que hable. But um, a veces podemos simplificar las cosas y no verlas como tan grandes. So tell me what is an adjective, ¿qué es un adjetivo? Por ejemplo, de personalidad. Ajá. Ok, yes. We are doing great, ok. Ajá. What else? What do you think about the adjectives? Do you remember about this? Maybe you saw it when you were on high school, cuando estaban en a high school. Es posible que lo hayan visto y ya no se acuerden. ¿Qué es un adjetivo? What is an adjective? Why do we use passive adjectives? Your ideas is okay, okay? <laughs> no crean que les voy a decir algo por, por, por sus ideas. Esta es una lluvia de ideas. Hacemos una lluvia de ideas juntos. What is a passive adjective? What is an adjective? <laughs> Guys, you there? Awake? <laughs> Despiertos? Yes. What is an adjective? Así como solito, ¿qué es un adjetivo? <laughs> okay, you don't know about it. Okay, don't worry. So, um, an adjective, like in simple words, it's a word that accompanies another word, like um, subjects, like another adjectives, like um, adverbs, and it complements, okay? It complements its word, okay? Lo utilizamos para complementar, sí? Complementar la información que ya tenemos. So, a passive adjective, like Reina says, is a word that can tell us um, where, where, or, yeah, where something or someone belongs from. A quien o a donde pertenece algo, okay? That's a passive adjective. So, we use it to talk about what belongs, okay? Que, o donde pertenece o que pertenece. See, belongs. I really love this, uh, this verb. Me encanta un montón este, este adjetivo. Siento que suena muy bonito en inglés. Belongs. So, um, belong es el verbo pertenecer. Pertenecer, yo pertenezco o tal cosa pertenece. So, when you say that something belongs to, you are talking about or you are using possessive adjectives. Cuando hablamos de que algo le pertenece a algo o a alguien, utilizamos adjetivos posesivos, okay? So, ah, oh, well, first of all, we're going to do the reading. Vamos a hacer el reading. Me avisan cuando puedan ver la conversación, okay? Looking of my dear Ricochet. Hay una palabra en el inglés que se dice, um, se dice ricochet y significa rebotar. And I really love this word. Um, me gusta cómo suena, ricochet. Suena bien cool. <ríe> ricochet. Ricochet. Y se escribe así ricochet. Y significa rebotar. <ríe> Ay, ya, ya lo ven. No, ¿verdad? Now, can you see it? Yes, I look at teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay, so um, this is a little conversation about what sales like. And if you can see there is like uh the second part of yesterday 
uh, yesterday conversation, we were talking about this bed and David. They were talking about uh, where are you from? That was our first topic. And they were talking David and Beth. So at uh, the ending of the conversation, if you remember, they were talking about this another character who appears in the conversation and uh, is Son He. And he is from Korea. Is a he. Yeah, it's a he. She is from Korea. So this is like the second part of the conversation. And there is three characters, Beth, Son He, and David. So I would like to have three volunteers for this conversation. And we're going to talk about what Seoul like. Uh, three volunteers to help me to read. Son tres personajes hoy. <laughs> Okay, Andrew, Andrew, you're gonna be Beth, who wants to be Sanghi, and who wants to be David. Hector también. Okay, vamos a ver. Andrew is gonna be Beth, Hector is gonna be Sanghi, and Stephanie is gonna be David. Okay. Go, guys. Auntie, this is David Garza. He's a new member from Mexico. Nice to meet you, David. I'm Song Hi Park. Hi, so you're from Korea? That's right. I'm from Seoul. That's cool. What's so like? It's really, it's really nice. It's big and very exciting. Excellent. I would like to visit Seoul one day. So they are talking about what Seoul's like. If you remember, we did an, an exercise yesterday and we were talking about our places where, ah, perdón, where you were born, donde usted nació, and uh, we were talking about um about um how is it like how is my country for example um I think El Salvador is pretty great um maybe we don't have like um hi the best country in the world but um I think um non country is is perfect and i think there is so many things in el salvador that i can find that i really like too for example the beaches there is no some beaches like us um i really really like it or or beaches like for example um in sonsonate and los cobanos i really like it it's an amazing beach and um I don't know, like uh oh the beaches from from La Union. Yeah, they are so amazing too. So I really love the beaches. One thing that I really love from El Salvador is that we can go to the beach from the mountain in one day. Dígame cuántos países pueden hacer eso. Ir de la playa a la montaña en un día. It's like, and I did it, so I know you can do it. Y como lo hice, sé que sí se puede hacer, ir de la playa a la montaña en un mismo día. Like, uh, we are pretty, pretty small, como somos muy chiquitos, so we can do that thing. Um, there, I, I, I can imagine that there is some people in the world that they doesn't know the, the beach. Hay personas en el mundo que no conocen la playa, a pesar de que tengan playas en su país, porque les queda muy lejos. For example, I don't know if you saw uh, Betty La Fea, but Betty didn't, didn't know um, the beach. Ella no conocía la playa hasta que va a Cartagena. So something like that, I can imagine, uh, like not to know the, the, the beach. So what do you like from El Salvador? ¿Qué les gusta a ustedes del Salvador? Tell me. What do you like from this country? This amazing and little country, small country. I love the beach. 
because uh-huh. yes because have uh, to to como especies to cómo se dice especies de coral like um I don't know if it's suspicious, <laughs> but you can suspicious. Vamos a, vamos a, 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 a buscar. Especies. Uh, two different. Ah, sí, suspicious. Uh, <laughs> sí, suspicious. Okay. Two species of the polarena, digamos. Mm-hmm. So, how, ¿cómo se dice arena en inglés, teacher? Sand. How Sand. to, to, to Two, ¿cómo dijimos que era? Two species of the sand, the sand white and the sand black. So, ah, yeah. <laughs> they belong like from the, the black sand and the white sand, right? <laughs> yes, I love the, the, the white sand. <laughs> yes, and you can find it in Sonsonate in Los Cobanos. It's really cool. The sand is white. Well, it's not white, but it's like uh, yellow. Mm, sí, creo que es como amarillita. No es blanca, blanca, pero sí es como amarillita. Yeah, I really love that. I love the beaches too. Okay, one point from El Salvador, the beaches. Okay, another one who wants to tell me what do you like from this little country? No one. D -d -d you don't like El Salvador. <laughs> um, the the volcano and the mountain of the Santa Ana. I love the mountain. I love the mountain. It's a good experience in in escalar. escalar. <laughs> Porque yeah. <laughs> porque se ríe. No, 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 es que me da risa porque yo también yo también la confundí, de repente no no hallaba la palabra. But it's to climb, es como subir la montaña, to climb. <laughs> no porque se ríe, me dice. I'm sorry, I am I am I am so smiley. De hecho soy una persona que se ríe mucho. Bueno, creo que ustedes ya me conocen, creo que la mayoría lo estuve la la el, el mes pasado, ¿verdad? Sí, <laughs> pero me, me pone más nervioso todavía. No, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I, I, it wasn't my intention. No, I, I didn't want to, to make you get nervous. No, I am just so smiling. <laughs> Quieren que me ponga seria, así. <laughs> no puedo. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yo trato de mantener la seriedad, pero no puedo. <laughs> so I love que se dice también también que me acuerdo que me acordaba de ese de ese <laughs> like you can say too also also mm -hmm. yeah the the girls of the of the how do you say what of the country the, the girls country. of the country Ah, yes, the Salvadorians. <laughs> uh, we are so pretty. <laughs> of course. Yeah. And I, I really like it too. <laughs> um, another thing that I really love is the food. You can find oh. so many things made by corn. Las cosas hechas de maíz. Oh my God, I really like it. Nuegados, elote es loco. Um, tortitas de elote. Uh, what else? Um, atol de lote. Oh my God, I really love atol de lote. It's one of my favorite things of this country is the food. We have the best food in the world. Yo creo que tenemos la mejor comida del mundo, la verdad. And Las maybe Mexico has a really good food too. Yes? Las pupusas. Pupusas, of course, pupusas. The best invention ever. La mejor, el mejor invento que se le pudo haber ocurrido. How do you think that um that pupusas were born? ¿Cómo creen que nacieron las pupusas? Pupusas was born. 
No sé, pero bendita la persona que las hizo. <laughs> okay, I love that, that, that answer. Okay. Blessing the people who invented. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yo no sé cómo las hicieron, pero me las imagino así como, bueno, tengo maíz y tengo frijoles. La voy a poner juntas. <laughs> I, I, I imagine that. No sé cómo las hicieron, but I can imagine that or... or Ancestors, nuestros ancestros agarraron el maíz y luego los frijoles y los pusieron juntos. Like, I have the corn, yes. I have these, um, these beans, so put it together. And pupusas do like, or corn. Do you like the, the pupusa of the San Miguel? Of what? Do you like the, the pupusa of the San Miguel? Of San Miguel. <laughs> No. Pupusas, yes, but I don't like the, the sauce, the, the, the salsa y el curtido, bueno, la, la, el curtido con mayonesa, I don't like it, sí los he probado, y no digo que sean malos, a mí personalmente no me gustan, a mí, pero no digo que, que no esté bien para otras personas, it's okay, no juzgo, I don't judge, it's okay, pupusas are good. I don't like the sauce, the black and red sauce. Si vea, es negra y, y roja, creo que es. La negra utilizan. Ajá, creo que es como salsa dulce, ¿verdad? Eso no es de Dios. Eso no es de Dios. <risa> ok, ya. Yeah. qué? Mejor pégense para los planes todos y comemos pupusas aquí. Oh my God, in the, the, the pupusas from los planes are so amazing. I think... They are better than the pupusas from Holocuilta, in my opinion. In my opinion. Siento que son mejores que las de Holocuilta, las de los planes terrenderos, que las de Holocuilta. <laughs> okay. You are best. <laughs> of course, of course. And quiero ver, puede ver el chat. Pupusas, ay, todos les gustan las pupusas, ya vi. Claro, es de las mejores cosas. Se me ha perdido el vocabulario. <laughs> no, you can find it. Try to find it. Okay, yes, we missed your participation, of course. Okay, guys. Um, we, it, like, the conclusion is that we really love the food. The food and the beaches are the best things in our country. <laughs> okay, esa es nuestra conclusión de hoy. Okay, so we're going to continue with this. So we're going to see. Me avisan cuando la puedan ver. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So this is greetings from around the world. Do you know what is a greeting? Saludar, dice. Saludar. Yes. Saludos. That's greeting, okay? We're going to see these greetings around the world. So who wants to um who wants to help me to read the greetings? Who wants to read the greetings? You can raise your hand. Uh -huh. Who wants to? No one wants. Guys, you there? Welcome, teacher. <laughs> Me fui por un momento, cierto. Permítanme, solo quiero saber. No entendí qué pasó. Creo que me quedé sin internet un momento. Me reempálago. Se fue la luz. ¿Verdad? O sea, yo les estaba hablando y de repente ya no los escuchaba. Y luego me di cuenta que se había ido el Inter. ¿Qué día es hoy? Hoy es 31. Por eso es fácil, porque están asustando, es 31. 
<ríe> porque están asustando. Oh my God, espero que se haya grabado lo anterior de la clase, porque si no, voy a tener que darla de nuevo. <ríe> ok. <ríe> Les voy a presentar de nuevo mi pantalla y me avisan cuando la puedan ver. Ok, this. Yes, teacher. Okay. Who wants to help me to read the question? Sorry? You there? Can you hear me? Me fui otra vez. No, teacher, le escucho. Yo le escucho. Ay, no. Qué, qué yes. susto. Ok, so, ¿quién me quiere ayudar a leer este cuadrito? Chiquito, pequeño. Dice, greetings from around the world. Uh -huh. uh, Henshek is from the United States. And about this, I don't know where is this. <laughs> The next one is a kiss from the check. Uh, a hope and a palm on the back. Uh, a pat, a pat on the back. Okay. Excellent. You can see like this. There is some um some greens around the world that you can find and there is a handshake what is handshake what is handshake apretón de manos apretón de manos yes from, from the united states excellent um they usually use this greeting Handshake, un apretón de manos. What's about? La sensación es muy dulce. ¿Como reverencia? Una reverencia, exactly. Do you know where in the world they use about as a greeting? In Japan. Uh -huh. In Japan, in Asia, for example, I don't know if in every country of Asia, but in China, in Japan, in Korea, they use like about una reverencia as a greeting. I really like it. No se tienen que tocar. <laughs> I really like it. I really it. like it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Okay. A kiss on the cheek. What is a kiss on the cheek? <laughs> Inside. Here also some place in Europe. Yes, and they use in Europe, of course. A kiss on the cheek. El cheek es las mejillas. Kiss on the cheek, and they use it in some countries of Europe. For example, in France, they usually use a kiss on the cheek as a greet. Okay, como un, como un salón. A hug, okay, that's the, the, the other one. What is a hug? Abrazos. Abrazos. Exactly. Okay, thank you so much. So, where do you think that they use a hug? Where do you think they use a hug? Yes, of course. We can use it in America. We use a hug sometimes. And sometimes a pat on the back. That is the last one. What is a pat on the back? It's a pat on the back. In the El Salvador. In El Salvador, yes. A pat on the back, una palmadita en la espalda. In El Salvador, we use a pat on the back. 
Um, a hug and a pat on the back, I think it's from our country. And I think it, it will say America. America. Okay. Excellent, guys. This is our from greetings. Also, you can find another greetings like a kiss or maybe, um, I don't know, um, like um, to use our a, a, to, our a shadows like <laughs> it's a greeting too um i don't know there is too many greetings that you can use around the world okay so we were talking about some continents where the five continents and you know some greetings that you can use when you visit another countries okay so we're going to talk about the possessive adjectives okay so as we were talking, we use it to know who or what something belongs to. A quien o a qué algo le pertenece. Okay? A quien o a qué algo le pertenece. For example, this is my pencil. When I say my, I am talking that that object, that stuff, esa cosa, it's mine. It belongs to me. When I say mine, I am using a passive adjective, my. This is your car, your car. Tu carro, your car. You are using a passive adjective, your. It's her cell phone. It's oh, her oh, cell phone. Oh, we car. are talking that the cell phone belongs to her. Que le pertenece a ella. And in our class, it's funny. Nuestra clase es graciosa. Perdón, ¿alguien me está hablando? No. Okay. So, we're going to see some statements using the positive adjectives, okay? So, who wants to help me to read the statements with B? ¿Quién me quiere ayudar con esta línea de acá? A leerlo. A volunteer. I am from Mexico. You're from Brazil. He is from Japan. She is an She's a new club member. It's an exactly city. We're in the same class. They, they're my classmates. Class, class, mates. Class, classmates. Thank classmates, you. compañeros. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you so much, Andrew. Andrew, ayúdame a leer las contracciones también. I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, they are. Excellent. Teacher, entonces no se lee cómo se escribe, porque yo a veces hasta la hora... <ríe> ¿Hasta qué? Leerlo, a la hora de leerlo, lo, lo leo así como contraído. I am, o a veces solo am. No, no. Uh, this is the contraction. Um, am is the contraction. Your is the contraction. His is the contraction. She's is the contraction. It's it's the contraction. Okay. Where it's the contraction. So, uh, and they are uh, the contraction. Uh, <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. son las contracciones de B, para que lo sepan. Uh -huh. En realidad, nuestro foco de atención... Tienen que ser los positive adjectives, pero esto es, es, es importante que lo sepan también. Pueden tomarle un screenshot y mandarlo al grupo para que lo tengamos todos en la mano. And there is the positive adjectives. My, me, me, my cell phone, my pencil, my home, me, mi casa, mi teléfono, mi computadora, for example, my computer, your, tú. Your computer, tu computadora, your boyfriend, tu novio, your country, tu país, your. He is from he, es para él, his country, for example, su país, his language, su lenguaje, his um, favorite color, su color favorito, hablando de un él. For she is her, 
Her favorite color, su color favorito. Estamos hablando cuando decimos her, es que le pertenece a ella. Sí, le pertenece, ¿ok? Cuando utilizamos la posición adjectives, de, denotamos pertenencia. ¿Ok? His, uh, her positive, her is a positive adjective from she. ¿Ok? Her cell phone, for example, su teléfono. It's, ¿ok? It's, it's for, um, for it, and it's, Um, it's color, for example, su color para cosas, para cosas específicamente, para cosas. It's color. Or, or that means nuestro, that means nuestro, like or country, for example, or country, nuestro país, or country, or class, nuestra clase. And their, that is from they, and it's like uh, their, and their advantage, su ventaja, la ventaja de ellos. Um, their, and they car, el carro de ellos, sí, de ellos, que les pertenece a ellos. Their, okay? So, again, my, your, his, her, its, or, and their. Estos son los posesivos adjectives. Sí, Carlos, dígame. Teacher, in this class, uh, there is no attendant. No, no. Ah, uh, well, um, yo la tomo de la lista de participantes, pero eso queda registrado. Una vez que usted está aquí, ya no necesito pasarle lista. ¿Ok? So, don't worry. Thank you, teacher. A pleasure. Yes, Stephanie, tell me. Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Este, también yo he visto el my. Y bueno, no sé, me habían dicho que es también como algo posesivo. Por ejemplo, this is mine. Ajá. Es válido también. Sí, solo que mine es un... Es un... También es posesivo, pero es posesivo upper. <ríe> Ajá, es posesivo upper. Eh, uh -huh. Que es mío, 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 mío. Ajá. Ajá. Eh, los adverbios usualmente reemplaza adverbio yes, it's an adverb que reemplazan a los sujetos es, eh, no, 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 no es un adverbio es un pronoun, perdón, es un pronoun que es un pronombre son todas las palabras que se utilizan para hablar de la persona sin nombrar a la persona, no sé si me entienden como, en vez de decir por ejemplo que el carro es de Abby por ejemplo, si en vez de decir que el carro es de Abby, puedo decir it's her car. In it's like a possessive, eh, like a possessive pronoun. Es un pronombre posesivo. Pronombre posesivo. Okay. Okay. It's on mine, yours también. Um, la mayoría son iguales, pero por ejemplo, my cambia mine. My cambia mine. Mine de, de mío. De mine. Okay, thank you. A pleasure. Y yo dándole vueltas de que era, pero si es un pronombre, ya me acordé porque sustituyen al sustantivo. <laughs> Ay, there is um there is so difficult when I need to 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 explain this and to remember every every description of the words. Um no me gustaba el lenguaje cuando iba al colegio y ahora ahora me sé más la gramática en inglés que en español. <laughs> okay. Um, another question? No. Okay, les voy a tomar una screen para mandárselos. And we're going to have an speaking activity. Is no no no. It's this thing. <laughs> and speaking activity, okay? This is write in your notebook five examples of passive adjectives. Cada uno va a escribir cinco ejemplos utilizando los passive adjectives. Así como les acabo de dar toda una lista de ejemplos de your computer and all of these things. Uh, we're going to do the same, okay? And we're going to have four minutes to do it. Vamos a tener cuatro minutitos para hacerlo, okay? Questions about the questions? <laughs> No. Ok, me voy a mutear un momentito en lo que les doy tiempo de hacerlo y luego lo vamos a socializar, ok? Go. Five examples. 
Solo me falta un accesor y ese está aquí. Espero un segundo.
Hoy les estaba hablando con el micrófono apagado. Ok, I'm here. So, uh, who wants to tell me? Carlos. Ay, qué fue eso. Oye, un cuadro se cayó y me acordé y me acordé de, de Andrew diciéndome que hoy asustan. No. No quiero que me asusten hoy. No, gracias. Soy muy, soy muy miedosa para estas cosas. Um, ay, who wants to be the first one, Carlos? Yes. <coughs> the first is uh, his name is saying to mine their their house is beautiful. It's a great day. She is your girlfriend. Her car is amazing. Okay, thank you. Her car is amazing. I really like I really like it. Look at this. Her car is amazing. Okay, amazing is another adjective, right? Okay, thank you so much. Um another one. Me teacher. Hector. Okay, Hector, let's go. Yes. Uh, the pencil is mine. His car is uh, strong. The book is mine. Her shoes is not a biggest. Her class is a wonderful. It's wonderful. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, our class is wonderful. I really like it. I like your examples. Okay, good job. I'd love to see you. Okay, who else? Me teacher. Okay. Um go Raina. My computer is black. Your car is good. Her sword is blue. His motorcycle is amazing. And my boyfriend is handsome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, your boyfriend. Um it's uh it's a lucky guy. <laughs> I really like it. Muéstrale que hasta lo puso de ejemplo en clase. <laughs> Para que después no diga que no lo quiere. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Reina. Applause to you. Okay. Someone else. Todavía me queda una participación. Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Okay, go, Stephanie. Rebecca drives his father's car. Your car is very expensive. My sister likes to play with her teddy. Mm -hmm. His pillow is soft. The horse is lowly. Excellent, your pillow lovely. is soft. I like it. No se me hubiera ocurrido. Okay, I really, really like it. I can say my bed is so soft. I like it, okay? Applause to you all. You are doing fantastic. Todos lo están haciendo muy bien. I really like your examples, okay? Creo que quedó bastante claro que se nos pasa así. Adjectives y cómo los usamos. So I need to know. Do you have any questions about the topic? Is something that you need to know? Anything else I can do for you for this time? No, teacher. No. Okay, todo cool. Vaya, les voy a mandar este al grupo. Y si ya no tenemos nada que... Bueno, si ya no tenemos preguntas, solo les quiero decir que es muy posible que el video de YouTube de hoy sean dos partes, porque creo como se cortó un par de segundos, es posible que me salgan dos videos. Así que, eh, si eso pasa, pues van a ver parte 1 y parte 2 de la misma clase, como Class 1, Part 1. No, this is class two. Class two, part one. Class two, part two. Y lo van a ver como en dos secciones, como si fueran dos videos distintos, pero en realidad es una sola clase, solo que porque se me fue el internet un par de segunditos, es posible que se corte. Así que solamente es para que sepan, para que cuando vayan a, a la lista de YouTube no se vayan a sorprender de que hay dos partes de una misma clase. Ok. So that's it. If you don't have any more questions, I'm going to see you tomorrow in class. Ok. See you.
Bye. 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 Bless you. Bye. Bye. Bless you too. Bye. 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 Bye.